John Smith here. Well, first of all, let me congratulate you, Mr. Robinson, from the team here in Trinidad and Tobago. I think that the questioner might ask, are you hearing me over there? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm hearing you quite well. Well, I'm, I'm wondering when you're coming across to Trinidad. I, I think many people want to find that out. As soon as you have released me, I shall be on my way to Trinidad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, Prime Minister, and I say Prime Minister, I address you as Prime Minister. It's only a matter of time now before the President uh, uh, appoints you Prime Minister of this country. Uh, may I ask you, sir, uh, how soon do you expect the president to make that communication to you? Uh, I have no particular expectation, though in the normal course of events, the president would act promptly, and I'm sure that he will. Uh, Prime Minister, uh, there, there's, there's, there's one other question here. I'm sure thousands of people outside would like to ask you immediately. Uh, the party that has just been swept out of power, as you know, had uh, three po uh, deputy political leaders. What's the situation with the NAR? Are we likely to see one deputy prime minister? Are we likely to see other people named? What's the position? Have you given it any thought? Uh, at the moment, the party to which I belong, the NAR, has two deputy political leaders. Uh, in so far as prime ministership is concerned, a deputy prime, in so far as a deputy prime ministership or prime ministerships <laughs> is concerned, we have not really discussed that much. Prime Minister, one final question here. What would be your first act after, after having received communication from the President? Uh, I, I, maybe I can lead you into, into, into telling us something about the composition of the Cabinet. Can you say anything at this stage? Uh, I, what I would, would, would say at this stage is that um, I would be happy to have a smaller Cabinet and a much more effective one functioning in a pragmatic and functional effective manner rather than in with having status of that sort. There's, well, there's one other, Jones, I'm sorry. Well, I, I know that, that we're in the height of the Christmas season almost just 10 days away, Mr. Robinson. I wonder whether that's going to deter you at all from acting as, as quickly as possible in putting a cabinet in place and, and making the necessary announcements. Do you see Christmas interfering with that? Uh, no, I, I think that um, even though the time constraint is very severe, yet the work needs to be done and it will have to be done. And I think my colleagues fully appreciate this. We've been through the constitutional requirements um, for the formation of a government and so on, for the summoning of parliament. And we pretty well have a schedule of action which we propose to follow in the next few days. Yes, there's one other question here, Mr. Robinson. We don't particularly want to hold you uh, for that long, but I know that people outside there would like to have this question answered. The panel here has been particularly concerned about the large majority that the NAR will enter Parliament uh, with. Uh, what can you say about the kind maintaining the effective democratic process and the quality of representation, uh, since that was one of the major items raised on your platforms? My own view is that the population of Trinidad and Tobago has been quite perceptive in whatever views others may hold. I think the population has been perceptive. Uh, that is felt previously, it did not have the kind of alternative in which it could entrust power and responsibility. And now it has been presented with that alternative in circumstances where there has been, quite justifiably in my view, complete disillusionment with the past regime. And they have reacted appropriately. And I think it's a lesson for all governments which follow and all parties that exist that if they behave in the kind of way uh, which provokes a revulsion of the population, then they're likely to be swept out of power and possibly out of existence. I think it's a lesson that we all must learn. Congratulations well, think, uh, from me once well, again, Mr. Robinson. Just before we go, uh, Dale, I think Mr. Robinson should know that he's not only talking to us here in Port of Spain, but we also have a team in San Fernando with Neil Giuseppe and, and Alison Hennessy who would like to ask Mr. Robinson some questions. So, Neil? Yes, sir, Mr. Robinson, first of all, on behalf of all of us here from our San Fernando base, we'd like to offer you our very heartiest congratulations on your very massive victory. Thank you very much indeed. I'm very grateful for that. Mr. Robinson, it's, it is very early, I know, on your, the, the euphoria. You're now in the midst of the euphoria. But I'd like to ask you a question. What are going to be your major priorities in the first few months ahead? Well, we did set out our major priorities in our immediate action plan. and. Um, or they dealt with such matters as, as um, integrity, for example, standards in public life. Uh, we dealt with such matters as the opening up of parliament to the, to the media, particularly the more important debates, uh, to 
the decentralization of government. Uh, we also dealt with such matters as uh, reassurances to the public service, the police service, and so on, uh, uh, bringing together the trade unions and employers, uh, bringing together people in the, in the financial sector, for example, setting up our economic planning commission or even our economic advisory committee, so, and, and dealing with some of the taxation matters that we raised, uh, setting up our tax performance committee. So it is quite a, a program of action that we have set out before us for the first six months or so. I'm not suggesting we would be able to complete everything that we've started, but certainly there is a lot that we can do in the six months in order to, to demonstrate that action can be taken by a government with effective results. Well, Mr. Robinson, your party, the NAR, put together a very professional type election campaign. There's no question about that. Uh, but did you expect, and you, you all were brimming with confidence, but did you expect such a massive victory? Uh, um, what, I would, what I can say about that is that we knew that there was a tremendous change in the population, that the, a tidal wave, as I put it some time ago, of change was sweeping the country. Uh, I myself anticipated that there would be a change. I was not prepared to say exactly how many seats we would win. In fact, I would say the response has exceeded even my own anticipation. It, it has been tremendous, overwhelming, really. And I am, you know, it makes me feel a much deeper sense of commitment to the population. Here are people who have placed unlimited trust uh, on us, and I think the only way we can reciprocate is to be totally dedicated to the cause of the population. Mr. Robinson, thank you very much for talking to us here. And on a personal note, a very happy birthday to you. Thank you very much indeed. Alison, is there anything you would like to ask Mr. Robinson? No, I think I'd just like to add my congratulations to you and to your party and also wish you a very happy birthday. Oh, thank you very much indeed. It's very kind of you. Well, Mr. Robinson, there are happy birthdays and congratulations by round and round. But I'd like to ask one question here, finally, okay, because you certainly deserve a fet and a rest. I'm sure you're quite tired. And then the population in Trinidad would like to know when are you coming over there? Uh, well, I, I did indicate previously, as soon as you have released me, <laughs> then I will be in Trinidad. Is that right? Arrangements have been made. In fact, I only stayed in order to give this interview. And it shows that I appreciate TTT. Before Mr. Robinson goes, well, but uh, well, but if you're hearing me over there, thank you very much indeed. Well, I, I think we lost. Well, there you are. Before we continue, the new Prime Minister himself, Yana Robinson, I'm sure the entire team that is here, but joins the mission. Congratulations and happy birthday. And back to you.